Okay, so if you have a problem in which uh, your CD is or your DVD is giving you a bit of a uh, concern, namely when you put in a new disc, you don't get the autoplay that comes up, and so you can pick a kind of file and so forth, uh, how you want to format the disc. Uh, one way to do uh, to do things uh, is with a solution here. Uh, we get into Control Panel, and once we're in Control Panel. You want to go into your administrative tools, and you want to go into admin the uh, computer management. And in a second, it'll pop up. And you want to go to the services and click on the services itself. Let's see, human interface, keys, functions. Let me. Let me find this. It's a shell program, so I should look for a shell, right? So what you want to find is a program that's called Shell Hardware Detection. All right, and if you look to the right over here, it has to deal with your autoplay. Autoplay is the pop-up screen. You want to take and make sure that it's started. So right now, uh, it is started. If I want to see the properties, okay, I right click and look at my properties. And startup type is set to automatic. And if it's if you if you are having a problem with the uh, DVD uh, not showing that pop up, this will all be in in light color. You won't be able to start things up until you change the setting here for for the automatic and then once you do that you'll be able to click the start button so you'll start the service uh, the settings here uh, allow the service to internet interact with your desktop you want that to happen and you can look at your recovery you, you would normally just want to have this as a default so you restart the service here within the first failure, the second failure, and after that, then you take no action. Okay. Uh, and here's the, uh, it's going to show you all the dependencies, uh, remote procedure call, RPC, and you got your DCOM services. Okay. So once this is uh, set up like this, then lo and behold, when you put in a new uh, a blank uh <clears throat> excuse me, blank DVD or CD, uh, it'll show you a menu. And let me let me close this off. Uh, don't forget this is this is all under computer management, right? I can go back and show you here. There we go. Back. And there we go. Do you want to go and click on the services part? Okay. So now with that said, let me minimize this. And I just got through inserting a DVD, so let me uh, let me bring up real quick. Uh, let me restore this puppy. There's the window. I'm going to eject this. And to test whether this works or not, I'm going to put in another brand new DVD, uh, which is not formatted. And we're going to continue. And in a few seconds, it'll pop up. And, uh, and here you go. Here's your autoplay and you'll be able to burn files. Now, let's just quickly go through the autoplay part in the control panel. How I set up auto autoplay is you use autoplay for all media and devices. And everything is set to choose default. Right. In other words, you could pick things later and different things you want to pick. Uh, you have a blank CD, ask me every time, and a blank DVD, ask me every time, mixed content, ask me every time. 
And those are the only settings you really need to worry about to get this thing cooking. Okay, so I'm going to just close that off. All right, so I'm going to burn files to disk. And what it'll bring up is a new men menu. And so this is being recorded. Uh, this video is being recorded on February 20th. And so that's nice. Uh, if you want, I could change the title. Uh, I'll just call this Scratch uh, I don't know, 02. 2012-002, I guess. Oh, it won't let me do it. Let me get rid of one of these. So I know that I'm on disk 2 as a scratch disk. And go through next, and it's going to take and format the uh, format the, the DVD in there. Okay. You want to format it anyway? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, now I'm not going to wait through this whole thing and put you through uh, showing you that it's formatting it. So let me pause. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to take it and keep it going so you can see that it really doesn't take that long to format the uh, format the DVD, even though there's uh, 4.37 gigs. See, now you saw exactly what happened. So what Vista does is that opens up and now it's ready to use his Internet Explorer. So I'm going to just close this guy off here. And now I could take and throw, you know, throw files on here or throw videos and so forth, anything I want to put on here. And then it'll be saved. So that's the that's the essence of uh, of how you get a DVD to work properly, uh, assuming that the other settings for the DVD are correct. And the, you wanted the, the little pop-up that you saw a little bit earlier uh, to actually come up and work. All right, so that's, that's basically it. Catch you on the next video.